Hello, I'm Stoney Smith of Paragon 6. Welcome to Trigger Time TV, brought to you by Raven Concealment Systems. Hey folks, in this episode, Jim and Melissa talk about the PRS, or the Precision Rifle Series, home of some of the best shooters in the world. Jim and Melissa, it's all yours. Today, k and Precision Rifle Training is hosting the Precision Rifle Series for now. Uh, all year, there's uh, a dozen or so national matches that are open to all competitors at any level, set all across the country, uh, all the way from, from Idaho to California to, to down here in Florida and, and everywhere in between. Uh, those, those matches, the Precision Rifle Series, collects those scores off a certain format and ranks shooters in different classes, the semi-pro class and the, and the pro class. At the end of the year, those scores are calculated uh, and those shooters are ranked and the top shooters will battle it out for the series finale here at k and the, the best shooters, definitely in the country, and most likely in the world at what we do, which is the, the tactical and the precision rifle um, discipline, are, are here today to came down to Florida to, to battle it out and to, to crown a yearly winner as a precision rifle series winner. These matches are obviously smaller than your typical, you know, other discipline was high power, it's, it's IPSC IPDA, um, because it's so, the facilities are so far in, in between. Uh, all the different matches that are spread out across there could be out west in open land, um, they could be a more structured facility like ours and a couple others that are out there. Um, and each match has its own feel. Each match has its own um, structured format that train and test different, different uh, parts of the discipline, if you will. Um, ours is very set up on really the influence of what the, the past 10 to 15 years of conflict has been and um, what really has come out of that tactical and practical lessons learned um, opposed to laying on your belly and, and shooting a 600 or 1,000 yard target. So these guys will come here, shoot these. You'll see all these different positions and different obstacles that replicate some of those challenges that we face either in combat or in your average hunting scenario or just to, to be a, a, a well-rounded uh, discipline shooter. They're taking the lessons to the battlefield and applying it to the competitions, though not all of them are military. Many of them are either prior service and they continue to want to train it and maintain those skills. Some, a lot of them are law enforcement. Some of them are civilian. A lot of them are actually industry players within the community uh, that pick up the sport or the discipline, depending on your profession, and, and try to perfect it if that's possible. Uh, so let's take those lessons learned and they will apply them here. And it actually, because these guys are the best in the country, uh, they'll take these lessons learned from these competitions and they'll actually infuse that into their training, whether it's their local law enforcement departments, their military units, the, the SOCOM community. Uh, competition, especially as far as KM is concerned, and, and a lot of the other matches, competition is the best way to, to test that training without actually going to combat. The, the stresses of time and, and the different obstacles and, and not knowing and not being able to rehearse, you put that in a competition, you're, you have a very, very clear assessment of where you're training. The matches at KM is probably one of the reasons why we were chosen, not because of what the facilities that we offer, but also because of the matches that we run. We're very broad in our application of, of across the discipline. Uh, a lot of obstacles, a lot of unorthodox positions, uh, a lot of prone. Some matches are more prone, um, but a lot of the matches will take the best from each other and, and apply those. There's some high angle shoots. There's, uh, this is very urbanized or very stress shoot nature, um, which is. Uh, it's 15 years ago, most of these matches, 10 years ago, most of these matches were primarily prone matches. And now um, the shooters have gotten so good, the equipment has gotten go so, so it's come so far from our sponsors that to test these shooters, that it gets harder and harder and harder, faster and faster and faster, and the targets get smaller and smaller. I get down on the target, get down on the scope and on the gun. I rack the bolt, I'm live. I find the target in the scope and send the shot, pop up, off my knees, go to the next window that's designated to shoot from. From there, I look and I see which target I'm gonna engage in the range I'm gonna engage it in. From there, bolt back, mag in, moving quickly, fluidly to the next window, which is a, a higher window. It's, it's a tough shot. I get down on the gun after I've identified the range and the target I'm gonna shoot, and I'm down on the scope, I see the target in the reticle and crack the shot. 
Time was good. Two misses. Uh, I didn't correct for the pro appropriate wind. On this particular lane that we were shooting in, it was a left to right wind, east to west, and uh, gusts were about five miles an hour. At 840, I needed to put in about three tenths wind in the scope. I missed two. And then this year I knew, I was, we, we were got picked, we were very fortunate to pick the finale. So I was very focused on running the matches and prepping for that. I have not shot this year. And uh, you know, the, the thing is I, now I'm behind because these guys have been training all year and, and it's, uh, if you don't train, you will not be able to hang with these guys. They're the best they are out there. Trigger Time TV is brought to you by Raven Concealment System, Troy Industries, Troy Defense, Legion Firearms, US Optics, Meredith Rifle, Dark Angel, Keltec, Yeti, Crossbone, Wiley X, Vertex, Black Rain Ordnance, Huber Concept, Tax Strike, and WW Guns.